So my name is Nicholas Lee and I am Director of Research at the Queen's Foundation in Birmingham and a feminist theologian and poet. It, it's a major theme of feminist theology for the last four decades or so that um, uh, it's really bad news for women, but also for men, if God is thought of only and exclusively in male terms. So, you know, Mary Daly famously said, if God is male, then the male becomes God. Um, that if all the images we have of God are always and only ever male, that is telling us something not only about God, but it's telling, it's t mirroring back to us something about human being. And it tells us fairly clearly that men are those created in the image of God, and men are more godlike than women. Um, so I think at a psychological and a sociological level it's really important that we have female images for God to expand our awareness of who God is. God is always God is always so much greater, bigger than we know and God is always coming to us in new forms. But also for women and girls themselves to see themselves mirrored in God so that, that how else do we know? How do we know we're made in the image of God? unless we can see images of God that look like us. Now, I think it's really important that we don't only make God in our own image. That's, that's dangerous because God is not simply like us. God is also strange and unknown. But we have to, we have to first know that God is like us or we are like God. Maybe you want to say both. And that seems to me what the incarnation is about. God comes to us as one of us in, fle in human flesh. And every culture, every people has found the need to remake that image of Christ. You know, so we have African Christs, we have, well, we have white Christs. Most of the images of Christ that we in the West are very familiar with, with of course, don't look the slightest bit like how Jesus would have looked like. They look like white European men because white European men needed to make Christ in their image. But that's not and that's legitimate as long as we don't think that's really what God is like. So we have African Christs, we have Chinese Christs and we have female Christs. Not because Jesus of history was a woman, but because women need to know that the Christ of faith embraces our lives, our issues, our questions, our concerns.